Wace and Johnny Ty again from the Kuma Survival School here with Brian Mead from Block Sharpener and of course Snake Blocker. As you can see that um, we had a table full of steel and sharp things and one of the things or the thing that we're going to talk about today is the Block Sharpener and um, I'm going to let Brian talk about it and he's going to sharpen some of these tools. A lot of these tools have been used a lot and they're not all very sharp so uh, or they're all very sharp but they could be sharper. Right, you're going to show me how that works? Correct. Right, here you go, dude. Well, it's real simple, folks. Quick, simple, and easy. It's American-made. It's lifetime guarantee. It's just like this. See people in the kitchens doing this all day. Is What this is designed to do is stand up the edge of your blade. Okay. Okay. Look a little familiar? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we did this back in 1969. Invented by two Vietnam vets. First thing you want to do, add your knife. Stand up the edges. So, can I, can I, can I see that really quick? No, no, not that. Right, so basically what he was saying it's it's two of the steels here put together right. with flexibility. Okay. We're allowed to follow contour. Okay. Okay, you know as well as I do. If you follow contour to something, you can't wreck it. Okay. We're designed strictly for maintenance. We don't also wreck or change the blades in any way, shape, or form. First thing you want to do, anytime you slice, dice, cut, or chop, you're gonna wreck the edges. You're gonna roll them over. Right. Okay. Stand them up just like the chefs would do. After you get that done, see how the flexibility is here? Uh -huh. Allows you to follow contour to the blade. Realigns it and sharpens it all at the same time. Go right back into your filleting your fish. Well, that's nuts, right? Same yeah. thing with all your serrated knives. Yeah, you were showing me that earlier. Yeah. Now that's impressive because not a lot of people know how to sharpen a. Thing is, you're going to pay fifteen to thirty-five dollars for a new knife to replace this knife. Okay. Okay. Simple. Edge it. You're going to do a light sawing action. Every time you go up, you collect half the serration. Every time you come down, you collect the other half. Go right back into what you're cutting. Wow, it's not too bad, right? Okay. All right. So can, All right, can, what can, else you got? Well, I mean, uh, this knife here, I, I uh, did a video earlier where I beat the snot out of this with um, a hammer and uh, threw some wood, and you put a good edge on that with just a couple of swipes. This is a 1095 high carbon steel, so it works on works on uh, heat treated high carbon steels as well. But we have a, a tomahawk, which uh, not all hawks are uh, uh, super sharp. So that that doesn't necessarily just work on knives; it works on tomahawks and other gear as well. First thing you want to do, right there, beating this thing up, mm -hmm. stand up the edges. Flexing is going to allow you to follow the contour of that blade every single stroke. Every time I pull this through here, it's the exact same pressure, it's the exact same stroke. It's not going to hurt it to do Dang. overkill, right, Brian? Right, correct. Okay. If you put a lot of pressure in it, you're wasting your time. Okay. It's just about the weight of the knife, and that's all you need to pressurize it and follow the contour of the blades. That's great. That worked, that worked really, really well. And, you know, obviously, again, like say with the Kuma Kakri, there's, you know, these larger serrations and <coughs> you're saying it's, it's very what you know a lot of people don't know how to do serrations um, with that flex to it oh you're serrated right it's like this People I talk to, you know, they don't, they're like, yeah, I just don't want to bother because I don't want to be there all day. Well, the thing is, stone. when you're using yeah. stones, you got to maintain those angles. Sure. If you don't maintain the angles, you're going to wrap the blade. And it's going to take, it take you hours to fix it. Okay? If you even fix it. This does everything for you. Instead of compensate for the way the blades are, the sharpener compensates for everything. Okay, it takes care of everything. I mean, I like this little hole in here. You can just attach it to your pack or do whatever so you don't lose it. I do a lot of river fishing. That's actually attached to a lanyard. Okay. So that way I can fix my hooks, sharpen them, and right, let go of the lanyard and toss it. That's sweet. That is definitely sweet. Well, Brian Mead, again, what is your website? Sharper Edge Now at gmail.com. So there is no website. Okay, Sharper Edge Now at gmail.com is how you get a hold of Brian and how you get a hold of the block sharpener and uh, 
That's not how you get a hold of Snake Walker. No, but I do want to ask a quick question. So somebody gets this, they, they, they pretty much got it down in a very short amount of time. Is this going to last me a year? Is it going to last me so many years? Um, one okay. of the things that um, you wanted to talk about also is that it's reversible for righties and lefties, right? Correct. And anytime you're using this, it always comes factory, set up for right-handed. Most people are right-handed anyway. And so the top rod, if you're right-handed, will you be facing like this so the camera, yeah. camera can see. We'll be facing your right hand. If you're left-handed, you're going to take these here, and you're just going to flip them over. Now the top rod faces. It's nice about it too. If you don't have a table, you're out fishing. Next closest thing, the end of a tree. See this here? It's all set for a reason. Now I can pull through and I get the same flexibility that I had before. And I yet show that it works right back in your filet. Oh, that was cool. Here you go. Same thing with your serrated, just like this. Right easy sawing action, right back in your cup. Good product. Great yeah, product, I was guys. Say too, for $20, you know, American you don't have to made lifetime guarantee. Knife. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. It's awesome. Well, you know, obviously a dull knife is a dangerous knife, so you'll just well, want to um, All my knife friends out there, you definitely have to have one of these. And uh, I definitely have to have one of these, and these will cost how much, Ron? They're $20. $20. You can't go wrong with that. Again, it's Grace and Johnny Ty with the Puma Survival School. As always, stay safe, stay sharp, stay alive. Yeah.